Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Well, it is a cold, cold one here on the mountain this morning. We ended up having some extremely, extremely high winds last night. Kept me up most of the night, honestly. I heard stuff hitting up against the cabin. Whenever I took Margarita to her car this morning, she, uh, there was trash all the way down the end of my driveway there to where I have to turn to go down the road that takes you out of Come On Mountain. It was crazy. It was some of the highest winds that I have seen here on the mountain yet. And uh, it was just basically wind. There really was no rain, nothing like that. It's just high winds all day. All day during the day, it was very, very windy. The trees were blowing. Had about a three-inch branch blown across the drive also up there towards my gate when I dropped her off this morning. Definitely crazy. And that wind definitely brought the cold. Um, it actually froze last night. I was out there earlier. Uh, getting the fire pit going and the little swimming pool that was Eclipse's first swimming pool is completely frozen. I mean, of course, not all the way down where it's hard frozen, but there's a sheet of ice all the way across the top of it. She was out there playing in it, taking her paw, trying to break it up. It was kind of funny. So I figured being that it's a cold morning and it's still pretty early in the morning, um, because I got to get up pretty early uh, the days that Margarita stays here because she's got to get to work. Um, I decided, you know what? Y'all haven't seen the inside of the cabin since I did a little bit more rearranging and decorating. Um, this past week, I needed to kind of rearrange things to be able to fit the Christmas tree. And it was still a little cluttered in here and it was starting to uh, drive me a little crazy. Um, so I decided I wanted to make a couple of changes. The problem with changing things in this small space is, is if you change one room, it blows up the whole cabin, like all of it. I was walking through trails trying to do stuff. And basically what I was trying to do was clean out that back room there that used to be my office. And I wanted to remove the refrigerator and stuff that used to be right here. And the little uh, plastic rubber made uh, drawer thing that I got, I wanted to uh, move all that back into the back room there and also build me some kind of makeshift closet because it's a chain reaction, right? Like originally this where the tree was, was my closet. I built this little temporary closet thing to be able to hang clothes and to put one of my bins up to be able to hold my socks, underwear, stuff like that, tank tops. And uh, and it worked fine. Uh, kept my stuff from being scattered around everywhere. But then when I got the refrigerator, I felt like that would be the best spot for the refrigerator. So I tore all of that out and put the refrigerator and all of the kitchen stuff, like bags and stuff like that, that was in that Rubbermaid thing right there. Well, now it's Christmas time and I needed a Christmas tree. And also this opening right here is pretty tight with everything there so i kind of wanted to open it up a little bit and this is only going to be here for like a month so when it leaves it's going to leave a nice open walkway back here so i decided to move everything in there long story short and uh i think it turned out pretty good i'm going to show you guys in a minute um y'all are going to be the first to get to see the whole uh cabin redo some things we left in place like the bed of course um it's big heavy and there really ain't nowhere else to put it and left the kitchen the way it was and the living room for the most part i did move my desk um originally i had my desk that way so i could have george my dear in the background with my lives and stuff but i've slowed down on lives some and i'm not doing them every single week um but that might change here soon I'm kind of missing it, to be honest with you. Um, we'll see how it goes, but I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about coming back live more often. And uh, so that was the original reason. But it took up a lot of space coming out into the living area like that. So I ended up putting that up against the wall, which y'all see in a minute. <sighs> it's been busy, though. It's been busy. We got a lot done. Yesterday, I have... A new video coming out on my main channel, Come On Homestead. Uh, today, it's a fun video. It's basically building that shower out there. 
um, that I kind of showed y'all yesterday. It's all the framing, blocking, and everything that kind of went into getting to that stage ready to pour the concrete. The following video will be actually pouring the concrete and putting up the hardy board and all that other, other stuff. I'm actually in the middle of filming that now. Um, and we're making some progress. I did uh, go over and get something from a uh, country road pier and simple life reclaim yesterday i will show y'all on tomorrow's video that um much needed and something that i've been trying to get for a while and it just hasn't worked out but got it took care of yesterday it was a good day um i'm planning another trip to town here soon um because i need to get the water membrane for the shower the paintable liquid uh, membrane and there's a couple other supplies that I want to get I also want to start looking for heaters why I'm in town to see what they have locally or I might have to order online I don't know yet but I definitely want a heater for out there and in here that has a thermostat um, I'm ready to go ahead and pull the trigger and get them I think it would just work better to save me some money every dollar I save is a good dollar um, but if that heater would shut on and off, it'd be great because it does get a little too hot in here with the heater running all night long when you're sleeping. I wake up hot and kind of sweaty. Um, I would like to be able to control the atmosphere inside this cabin a little bit better. But, uh, for the most part, it's doing good. I do got one little piece of insulation up there in the ceiling that, uh, came unstapled a little bit at the top. I didn't staple it good enough. I got to push that back up in there because heat rises and I am losing some uh, hot air out there. But speaking of heat rising, that's a great segue. Check this out. Miss Scarlet on Thanksgiving gave me this. She made this for me. Hold on, let me see if I can get it to focus here. It says heat rises. <laughs> Tell me that ain't cool. I love those kids to death. The kids on the 41.36, all of them, are just amazing kids. So well behaved. So loving. So genuine. So such sweet, sweet kids. And, uh, yeah, she made me that. Abe made me the card, which I showed in an earlier video. Um, she also gave me another one that says Simple Life um, and has little, uh, little decorations on the end of it. Very, very cute. So... Figured I would share y'all with that. I thought it was extremely funny that she gave me one that said heat rises. That is awesome. <laughs> She's a fan of the channel. If y'all haven't checked them out, go over there and check them out. They got a Simple Life Reclaim and they also have Real Talk with SLR. And that shows more of the behind the scenes kind of family aspect of kind of doing this lifestyle. But winter is definitely coming, guys. And uh, I'm feeling the pressure, but... Not really, because I got my well secure with it insulated and everything, and it's been working good. I've had I've been through probably eight freezing days at this point, and uh, it's doing fine. So that was my biggest concern. Now the next concern, of course, is myself and also Margarita um, being able to take hot showers and use the bathroom without being out in the cold and everything. So. But we are making progress with that. I think this is going to be a big week. Like I said earlier, I decided to not go on my hunting trip um, just for the extra days because that would have been a four-day trip. And I can get a lot done in four days. So we are definitely making progress. I, I think it's going good versus time versus budget and all of that. So huh, making, making moves. But there's a lot of materials that is being bought right now. And... uh yeah, it gets a little stressful, especially running back and forth to town. Um, you, It doesn't matter how many lists you make or, or anything like that. You always run into something where you need something. And uh, I try to plan it the best I can, and I try to limit my trips to the big town, make it as efficient as possible, get as much done as I can when I'm there. And uh, which is why we went last Friday on Black Friday and we hit multiple stores and knocked out a whole bunch of stuff on the checklist. But uh, the thing about this is out here, it's forever changing and it's a it's a game plan. Like I always say, it's a game plan. It's not a set plan. But when it's like that, 
it's hard to know exactly what you need so it happens but uh and also I don't have storage that's another big thing here um, I have the temporary tent out there but it's not real like weatherproof right I mean it keeps the rain off but you still have the moisture it still has a dirt floor stuff like that so it's not good for storing stuff like insulation and stuff like that it just gets ruined I tried trust me and uh, two bags got destroyed and also I had some shingles down and stuff on the ground and had some concrete stacked on there because at the time when I got it I didn't have a pallet or anything like that to have it on and I lost two bags of concrete out of that deal too so that's another reason why I'm kind of doing this in phases but enough of that because trust me I'm gonna be out there building on all of that today um, I'm excited though things are starting to take shape so it definitely helps uh, keep the motivation up but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the cabin the way it looks now and then I'll get my butt off here and get to work come on all right, let me take you out the stand. We'll show you the Christmas tree at first, and then I'll turn the lights on so y'all can see the rest. See, y'all get to see what nobody else gets to see. I have not put the cabin on Come On Homesteading in quite some time. It's been a while. And since uh, I think me and Margarita redecorated the whole thing. We're going to start with the tree. So this is my tree. I have no ornaments, like I said earlier in one of my earlier videos. But it does have the snow already on it. Let me get up here and show you. And it's got the lights already built in. And I like it. And then up top, I have a snowman. That's George's cousin. That's Harry. Harry the snowman. But it looks cool with the tree being all snow and white. It looks good. I think I'm going to hit next time I go to the dollar store or Dollar Tree or Walmart or something like that. I'm going to get some uh, little felt things and make some hands and make him a snowman. I think he looks cool though. Alright. Y'all know about the bed. Y'all have seen that before. Well, let me turn some lights on here. We fancy up in here. Boom! Let there be light. So we got the bedroom, of course the kitchen. We've rearranged it a little bit, but for the most part, it's still the same. I need to organize down there quite a bit because, you know, life happens. You buy a bunch of groceries and stuff, put it in, you have it all organized, and then it's not. Got the ice maker, got the coffee, sugar, noodles, all that. Coffee maker, that's essential these days. The toaster oven. And come on with the propane heater heat rises i got a little fan there that kind of blows it that way i'll show you all my ceiling fan that i got until i stall that other one and then let's see here we'll go in here to the room that started it all ah uh, there we go let me back up and start again so right here is my makeshift closet them new snake boots come out so I got that little stand right there from Walmart one day and it's working pretty good. I've got a lot more clothes to put up there. They're upstairs right now that I can still got to deal with. And then over here, I have the, let me back y'all away a little bit. I got the refrigerator over here now. And this right here is my makeshift pretty much sink. That right there is my drinking water. That right there is to wash my hands. That's the well water that isn't filtered yet. And that's good, pure, clean drinking water. Got the freezer. A little bit of storage right there. But I think it works pretty good. We got George. I'm still going through a bunch of stuff in that corner that I had stored in there, like paperwork and boxes and stuff that you guys have sent me and stuff, which I'll be doing a... a Another unboxing video here real soon. I just haven't had time to do it. But I think it turned out pretty good, guys. And y'all are the only ones to see this besides Margarita. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Switched it up a little bit today. Kind of got away from the construction side of it for a minute. And just show y'all a little bit of a cozy cabin in the mountains at Christmas time. 
So I'm looking forward to it. I am going to get a couple of lights and stuff for the cabin. Um, just to kind of give it the Christmas feel around here a little bit. It is my first Christmas here on Come On Mountain. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I really hope it snows on Christmas. That'd be awesome to have a white Christmas for my first Christmas here on the mountain. And it might happen because they're saying that our winter this year is supposed to be early and a lot worse than last year. And normally I think it snows in January or something around here. So pretty cool. All right, guys, I hope y'all have a great, what is it, Wednesday hump day. I hope y'all have a great productive hump day. I hope that y'all are being flooded with the Christmas spirit. If you celebrate Christmas, I know I have people that watch this from all over the world. and uh, But if it, you do celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. All right, guys, until we see each other again, come on. Hey, keep it real.